Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Renaissance Con. In this video, I'm going to be talking about an argument that a lot of um, LEGO fans have been talking about. Basically, I'm going to be talking about how LEGO is getting sloppy, and as you saw from the title, um, the quality, I think, is decreasing of LEGO. So to start off right here, we have the newly released 2022 LEGO ATTE. So I was really hyped up about this set. I just saw the description when it first came out, and I saw the clone troopers. So I was like, okay, it's a pretty small amount of clone troopers for this. But then I saw the face to Cody and kind of fixed a lot. Um, the gunner, it would have been nice to have two gunners in this, but that's not. this is not the point I'm talking about. The point is, the dwarf spider droid that was included in this should not have been included. Should have been easily a crab droid. I don't know whose idea it was to include a dwarf spider droid, but, like, what the heck? Why'd you do that? Because I looked on Wikipedia, and you can see here that, literally, there is no door spider droids that took place in the Battle of Ludapal. Which, by the box art and the description, it's talking about the face to Cody, it's just, just everything. So door spider droid should not be in there, and it should be a crab droid. I don't know why, or, like, whose idea it would have been, because it just does not make sense to me. Why you wouldn't put a crab droid in. It would be a new buildable figure and really important. On to the next part. Now this is going along the same lines of it. But I feel like Lego's not paying atten like as much attention to the actual Star Wars lore when they're making these Lego sets. So I have a few examples. This is from a while ago. And there's an example from, um, of course, what I just talked about. The crab droid not being in there. So more recent, we have the 2020 8th... AAT, and the cannons were upside down on the sides, and the bail is too long, and the box art has Ahsoka's um, clone trooper, the uh, 332nd trooper, and Ahsoka, with the season 1, episode 1 background from Clone Wars, so I really don't know what's going on there, um, I just like feel like they weren't thinking about it at all. I don't think Ahsoka should have been included in that, I don't think they should have been figures well, I think they should have been included in another set based on the Siege of Mandalore. Instead of, you know, that random AAT. So now another part is Umbara. So this, the two sets of Umbara, actually, the Headhunter is fine. That one I think is really good, really good minifigures. But to start off, we have the ATRT. ATRT did not come with um, the ATRT driver from the Battle of Umbara, and said it came with a normal 501st. So, like, that one is a... That can be debated. But the real, real thing is, is that how Yoda is included. Not just Yoda, but a sniper droidica, which is not a very accurate model, and a commando droid. Like, what? How does that... You don't even see those once. You don't even see those once in the entire trilogy. Like... Not even a normal battle droid, besides the last episode when they're in the droid uh, command ship. Who who thought of this? Whose idea was to make that? So now we're going on to the final part of this video. Now this is the final part of the video. I'm trying to make it kind of short, so sorry if I'm rushing to three things too much. So basically, I want LEGO to fix the sets they're making. Not only um the minifigures. Oh yeah, another one. Um, General Grievous' Starfighter, Obi-Wan, has a Mustafar. It's just, like, these tiny details they can't get a hang of. And it's just so easy to fix. I don't know why they have to, like, do us, do us like this. But, and they can fix their sets by just paying more attention to minifigures, which is not that hard. It really isn't that hard to, of a deal to fix. You just fix the minifigures, you make a crab droid buildable figures. You can even use the one that like fans made that's like super accurate. So this irritates me because when I saw this I was gonna make a building Utapal series and I think I still am, but I'm gonna have to buy separate custom crab droids because Lego isn't making any. I do really do think Utapal is a cool battle. It didn't get enough screen time in Revenge of the Sith. Um I really enjoyed watching it and there's a lot of things about that. So I wish they would just make more sets on episode 3. I know they kind of try not to because it was kind of, you know, kind of brutal. But it's Lego. So I think you could work it out like that. But this is how I think 
Lego can fix themselves and just get better quality in general because it's kind of we're kind of being let down as Lego fans by the quality of Lego decreasing. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll try to get a building Utapau series soon. Like, please like and subscribe for more videos.